What's going on, Warriors? Welcome to Collection Event Week in Apex Legends. It's your boy Windex CJ, and in this video, we're going to go over pretty much everything in the Warriors Collection Event, going over all the stuff that you may be getting, but probably mostly not getting if you're broke like me and can't afford everything. Looking at the illustrious Crypto Heirloom, and obviously the Prize Tracker Event because you know they got to have those for a collection event so what should we start with obviously let's start with the good stuff let's go over to the collection event the worst collection event obviously we got two weeks two weeks to you know get as much as you can possibly squeeze out of the get but you know how it works by now uh epic tier stuff oh i think they actually dropped the price a little bit maybe i don't know but a thousand apex coins and 800 crafting materials for epics and legendaries, 1,800 coins and 2,400, oh my god, materials for legendary items. Good lord. All Unlock all 24 items and you get the illustrious Baiwan Blade for crypto. Crypto mains out there, you finally get your heirloom. Finally. Woo, can y'all see me? Can you? Uh, why is my button all the way down here? God damn. All right. We'll, we'll leave it at that for now. I hope, I hope that's better. I don't know. I, I got to fix that though. All right. So we're going to start off quick and quick and clean here. We're going to start off at the top, work our way back through. So starting off first with our first epic item, we have Flickering Ember Fuse. Ah, oh, not bad. Pretty, pretty solid epic skin. Nothing too crazy here. Um, not a big fan. I'm, I don't have any Fuse skins. I don't, I don't really care for a lot of his skins, to be honest, but it's not bad. If you like Fuse, it's another skin for you. Sure. Moving on to the Cloud Surfer R301 skin. Comboing with a few skin. It's not too bad. I like the red. I like the cloud. It's pretty cool. Nothing too crazy. But sorry. Not bad. Not bad. We have our Mad Maggie skin. Nitro Backfire. I like the blue, purpley hue that's going on there. It's pretty nice. I do. Even though it's like kind of basic, nothing too crazy. I do like the like epic skins that have like the little moving patterns. I think that is pretty cool. And it, it's not really too much going on there, but it's, it's pretty nice. Then moving on next, we have the Fancy Fire Ava 8 skin. Still probably going to be Garbaggio. Looks nice. Definitely like a Video vixen S camouflage with the... Is that Cheetah or Leopard? I always get the two mixed up. I don't know. Let me know in the comments. Is that Cheetah or Leopard print? I think it's... Ooh, cheat? I don't know. I, I have no idea. Then moving on next, we have the Tear It Down Mad Maggie Banner Frame. Banner frames are getting up there for me. I like the art form is getting better and better. Banner frames, hey, I'm not I'm not mad at it. I'm not mad at it. Then moving on next, we have the Valkyrie Combat Challenger banner frame with a little Titan on the bottom. A little Titan on the bottom. He's got a little sword, a little shield. Yes. Yes. I like that. I like that. That's a good Valkyrie frame. Moving on next, we have the sharper image emote for Ash. Ooh, she's 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 sharpening the blades, her little mantis blades. I know they're not probably mantis blades, but I've been playing a lot of cyberpunk, so they look like mantis blades to me. Not bad though, pretty cool. This goddamn rat that's like hanging out with her. I, good lord. Next up, we have a skydive emote, head over heels for Lobo. Oh, she's air walking, air walking. Loba's air walking? Yes, sir. Okay, yeah. I like that. Go ahead, Loba. Do your thing, shorty. Not bad. Then moving on next, we have the Toasted and Roasted Hollow Spray. Universal Hollow Spray. Pretty basic. Nothing too crazy. Nah, not a big fan of this one, but it's whatever. Then moving on next, we have the Trailblazer Vault Epic Skin. Hmm. Interesting. Interesting. Mm, nothing too out of the ordinary here. Nothing too crazy. Not a bad skin, though. Not a bad skin. Then our last two items here, starting off with the first one, is the Mark of the Ancestor Sentinel skin. I think Sentinel skins are, like, really good, especially because, like, that, like, you can do a lot with, like, the little pulsation going on in the middle with the energy. Really nice. Again, kind of basic, but nothing too crazy. And then last but not least, we have the Little Trickster Lifeline emote. She's playing with Doc! She's playing with Doc! All right, I'm not gonna lie. This, I might get that, maybe. It's probably like the only thing I can afford, but uh, that's probably what I'll get. All right, going into the legendary stuff. Starting off first with the Curse of the Amazon oh, Charge Rifle skin. 
I might say it's pretty interesting. Definitely, definitely up there. I give it like a like an eight. Pretty cool. Again, the gold. They love. Is it gold? It looks like gold. Love that. Very sleek. Very minimalistic. Nothing too crazy. Very nice though. Coming up next, we have the Crooked Steps Mastiff skin. Whoa. I actually like that. I like that like little like st like the stock area, like the butt of the gun. That's really nice. That's cool. Yeah, that's cool. I like that Mastiff skin. That's pretty nice. Moving on next, we have the Clenched Fist Flatline skin. Oh. It's a very interesting look. Uh, definitely got some better designs out there for the Flatline, but it's not too bad. I'll give this one like a 6. It's not too bad. I do kind of like the rounded off front. That's like the only thing that's really drawing me in. But again, nothing too crew crazy or too special. Then moving on here to our second to last weapon, we have the Circle of Power Prowler skin. Not really a fan, to be honest. But hey, man, if, if, if you like Prowlers, it's a skin for you, I guess. Oh, I'm not really a fan, though. Next. Moving on to our last weapon here, we have the Fringe Benefit Bowcheck skin. I like the colors. Colors is nice. I like the little like feathery uh, shit going on. That's pretty cool. I don't use the bow check a whole lot, mostly because I just don't hit shit with it. But it's pretty cool. Not bad. Not bad. Very nice. That's all the weapon skins in the legendary tier so far. Not gonna lie, definitely had some more heavy hitter collection events so far. But hey, man, to each their own. Everyone has their own little style. Not really. Not really hitting any boxes for me too much. Moving on to our first character skin, we have Combat Survivalist Lifeline, which it's not bad. It's not bad. Definitely got some better Lifeline skins in my opinion, but not bad. I like the like little headpiece. Not a big fan of like the goggles, but I like that her hair sticks out. That's pretty cool. I like that a lot. Moving on next, we have the Rumble Ready Rampart skin, which. Kind of just looks like a regular Rampart skin. It kind of just looks like a regular Rampart skin. Not really, not really feeling this one. A little disappointed. Ooh, Riding, Riding Dirty Octane skin. All right. Now this, I can get behind this one. Pretty cool. It's a cool skin. Still not going to lie though. Got some, I'd say there's some better Octane skins out there. But definitely rocking with the headpiece, the like Raider, like Fallout look. That's pretty cool. Really like that. And then moving on next to the Jewels of Olympus Horizon skin. Alright, I'm not going to lie to you. I don't hate her headpiece. Usually for Horizon skins, I love the body and I hate the headpiece. The headpiece this time is not that bad. It's pretty cool. I like it. Pretty nice. Definitely up there. I say her and Octane is probably the best two so far. So far. We got three more though, so stick with me. Moving on next, we have Boot Camp Loba. I'm pretty sure I saw this one. This one is pretty cool, too. I'm not going to lie to you. A lot of these legendary skins, looking they're not really looking so legendary. I'm not going to lie to you. Is it just me? I don't know. I, a lot of these legendary skins not really looking really legendary. Okay. Moving on next, we got Synthetic Huntress Ash. Jesus Christ, look at that face. All right. All right. Ash definitely has the most aggressive look so far jesus christ yeah that's a that's an ash skin all right good lord i'd probably pick that one up if i had the coins or the crafting materials for it but i just i just don't and our last skin in the collection event technically is the jaeger <sighs> caustic skin he probably got the hardest one in my opinion in my opinion he probably has the hardest one Granted, I'm not really a fan of like seeing bare chest caustic, but that's pretty cool. Hey, that's pretty cool. I like his little his little arm sleeve. His helmet is crazy. It's crazy. All right, that's pretty crazy. That's pretty tough. That's a cool caustic skin. I definitely pay money for that one. Definitely. So, out of everything in the collection items, I definitely say caustic, ash, horizon, and octane are your probably best bet character skins. I don't think Loba's really worth it. I don't think Rampart's worth it. Lifeline is a toss-up for me personally. Like I said earlier, definitely had some harder-hitting collection events.
But for what they're going for, it's not too bad. I give this one probably like a six, maybe even a five, to be honest. It's just nothing in here that I'm really caring about too much. But obviously, if you do manage to get all 24 items, you do get the chance at, well, you do get the Crypto Heirloom, the Buy One Blade. This comes with the blade and then I'm pretty sure an entrance. Yeah. Which is nice. I really, I really like that with his, like, his regular guy skin. That'd be like the main reason I want to get it, just because I feel like it fits his regular guy skin a lot. And then I think you get equipped too. Kok Chung Ma, I'll find you. So I gotta love that. So, yeah, you guys, let me know. What do you think about the collection event and the items in it? What do you, what are you thinking? I don't know. Not, not really too big of a fan of it. But hey, this might be a like knockout for somebody. So let me know in the comments what you think about it. Then, usually with most collection events, uh, they have special offers that you can get in the store. So you can buy pretty much a character skin and get a few uh, collection event loot boxes for that as well. It looks like for this one, they have the Rumble Ready Rampart skin and the Jaeger bundle, which honestly, I'd say the Jaeger bundle is a better buy. But if you want to get more chances at rolls, then sure, get the, life, uh, get the Rampart one. And then they have some returning favorites and some other ones as well. Outside of the collection event, we also have the Warriors prize tracker event, which goes up to 5k this time. And like that, let's go over and see what's inside of that as well. So starting off first at 250 points, we have the Warriors banner badge, which is a pretty nice banner badge. Can't really complain about that. Sorry about that. And then moving on next, we have the Warriors music track. not bad not bad definitely seems like a ramp up one but again not too bad at 500 points here we have the kill tracker we have a kill tracker for mirage which looks like it's going to be the body one okay okay then moving at 750 we have a kill tracker for mad maggie all right maybe looks like mirage and mad maggie for this one at 1000 points we have an apex pack at 1250 we have a damage tracker for mirage Looks like the legs. At 1500, we have the f Furry Fury Weapon Charm. Which actually is pretty cool. I like that Weapon Charm a lot. That's pretty cool. At 2000, we have a Wind Tracker for Mirage, completing the whole body set, I'm pretty sure, which is nice. At 2500, we have a Wind Tracker for Mad Maggie, which is her midsection as well. At 3000 points, we have a high contrast character skin for Mirage. Nothing too crazy they're very subtle with the movement in that one which isn't too bad definitely kind of an average looking skin but hey it's another mirage skin so if you're a mirage fan this is good for you then at 33500 we have the dose of madness 3030 skin it's probably one of the hardest weapon skins and it's for free <laughs> Shit. that's hard i like that one that is a tough 3030 skin that's tough. Definitely recommend getting the points for that one. 4,000 points. We have the damage tracker for Mad Maggie, which completes the set. Not bad. And then at 5,000, we have the Beyond the Wheel. Um, Beyond the Wheel L-Star weapon skin, which is pretty nice. I like the I like the color palette. It's still pretty simple. Nothing too crazy. No real like body add-ons or anything. But it's just kind of like a real color pattern, a color palette, and I think some changes here and there. Not bad though, not bad. I definitely think that one should be the three, the 3500 one, and the dose of madness should be 5k, but that's just me. Um, so yeah, and the way you'll get points for that is just by doing the Warriors event challenges, which you'll get certain events, you'll get certain challenges to do pretty much kind of similar to like your daily challenges or your weekly challenges, and you'll get points that'll pretty much go to your prize tracker. And like I said, as of the time it's recording, you got two weeks to get this stuff done. So let me know, guys, what do you think of the Warriors collection event? Is it a buy? Is it a skip? What are you getting? What are you not getting? Let me know in the comments down below. Definitely looks like your boy's going to be focusing on that prize tracker for most of that free stuff. I might get one or two things out of this, but not really, to be honest. And yeah, that's going to do it for me, guys. If you found the video helpful at all, please sure to leave it a like. Again, leave a comment down below on what you think about the collection event so far. And if you want more Apex Legends and gaming content like this, then be sure to hit that big red subscribe button down below. It's me, boy, Ryan XQJ. Catch you guys in the next video. Peace out, Legends.